Hey you guys, this is a simple three image photo stack made in Photoshop and I'm going to show you the steps to do it. First you go up to file and scripts and load files into stack. We will browse to where I have these images. And we will just highlight the several images that I want to use. Here we go, 4871, 2, and 3. Hit OK. We want to highlight these with the shift bar but we don't want to automatically align sources this time because I'm just going to use the back image for the background. Hit OK. And it's going to load these three images in stacks over here as a new project. There's the one. They'll bring in two others. It's stacking them on top of each other. We're going to choose the top image, which is this one. And go over here to object selection tool we're going to pick this square object selection tool and go around this mockingbird right around the edges and it will scoot in and select the edges of that mockingbird I'm going to click on select and mask and right here I add a few in, few degrees, a few percent of shift edge to the plus side just to give a little width or a little extra space around the bird, just barely, a couple of pixels. This will be added as a layer mask on the same layer. Hit OK. We selected and masked and now we have a layer mask that covers up everything except the bird. You can start to see the next layer underneath and I'm going to hit move and move this first bird over to a new position. We can fine tune it in a few minutes. So there's the first spot. We go to the next layer and I'm going to go back to my object selection tool and draw around the next image of the mockingbird. The AI will pick that bird And I go up to Select and Mask again, and it remembers my settings from the last one. It added a few percent of the edge to just give a little space around the bird. Hit OK for an output to layer mask. That's the second layer mask. You can see it's not exactly in the right position, so I'm going to move it a little bit. Make sure the right one's highlighted. We'll move this one over. Like so. Put them about where they belong. And there we go. You can do some other fine tuning. But next thing we will do is come up to Layers. Merge Visible. Once you're sure you've got them where you want them, you click Merge Visible. And it blends together everything that's showing, everything that's visible. There we go. Now you have a single image. And you can crop it to the size you want. Might crop in a little bit here. And you can see the bottom edge is not quite straight. So I'm going to rotate maybe just a little bit. Something like that. A little better. And hit check. And at this point I usually open the image in Camera Raw and adjust my brightness and my colors. And then sometimes in Denoise AI, if I want to clean it up a little. And then export it as a single image. And there you go.